Hello, I just wanted to make just a little uh, comment on Philippians chapter 4. And it was about four years ago that Natalie, my daughter, sent me a text with this verse of scripture on it. And it was quite unusual that she didn't usually send me verses of scripture. But in this particular case, the first line of it was rejoice in the Lord always. Of course, what I hadn't noticed was it said dot, 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 dot after that. So I was meant to read on. But my first thought was, I don't really feel like rejoicing. Because my wife was in hospital. Nevertheless, I did actually get round to reading the rest of it quite quickly. And i have been into the, I was staying up at Guy's in a residential uh, home opposite to Guy's Hospital. And I'd been in the little chapel there. And on the day that Eve arrived in hospital, I wrote on one of the prayer cards on their prayer corner. And I put, please let my girl be OK. Anyway, I left the card there. And it, to be fair, it was there till the end of the week when I went home. But by the time I went home, Eve had had a successful operation. And she was on the road to recovery. And I was able to write on that same card, thank you, Lord, for your care. Now, going back to the passage, the passage said, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is here. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And of course, that was the best thing to do. But what highlighted it to me, as I walked out the residential quarters to get to the hospital, at the end of the road, there was the shard. And I could look up every day and see the shard. And it was absolutely, it's absolutely amazing building. Because sometimes planes are flying over and they seem to be lower than the shard. But of course, it's an optical illusion. But... Uh, one day I came out and the shard was covered in cloud. And I realised then that's one of the truisms about God. that We don't always see God, but we know he's there. And I think this was the case with my little verse from Natty about, from Philippians, that once I got it, that the Lord was always there. Of course, I knew already, but I hadn't really taken it on board. So I want to give thanks and say, that verse was an inspiration to me and it's a verse now that I use all the time and uh, it's one of my it's my memory verse that Tim suggested so I hope you know my thoughts and maybe your thoughts and maybe my inspiration can be your inspiration so in the meantime uh, God bless you and take care bye-bye